What is up guys, I'm Ivan here bringing you some Rust build and tutorial. I haven't done this for a while, so if you do like today's content, do smash that like button. And also if you want to see any more, do hit that subscribe button. So, everyone's been doing these uh, hidden areas and bases. And I thought maybe I can give it a go. So this one that I'm going to show you, uh, costs 6,240 wood, so that's the twig. 3,000 sorry 32,140 stone and 4,172 frags so this is supposed to make it look like you've got a base that's been raided so the twig helps it so it looks like someone blew up the uh, ladder hatch here which uh, gives it that look of course and put the twig there and also it looks like someone blown in the door and got into this what would be a bit good idea is to put like maybe some bone frags in here something that someone will not want to make it look like it's got raided but that maybe you can put a bed here uh, or you can't don't want to to make it look like someone destroyed your bed up to you so this looks like it has maybe i don't know if you get one of these floors but then it probably uh, thing of the structure's integrity. Uh, put a hole here. Well, I didn't put a hole, but I left that there. You can put a couple of holes anywhere you want to. Make sure the stability wise. Now, best place to put this is like near a big bush. You want it. Where's that stone? You want to put it in a bush. Like, this is your secret entrance here. This is obviously. You need that here. Now I'll try to put a door here. You, you can put the you're, you're able to put the uh, door frame. Uh, so oh maybe you could put the door. No, you can't. So this is your secret. So you need one armor door. You can have armored or sheet melt, but I'll take two C4 with that. And then obviously this. So you've got your furnaces down here. Tool cupboard there, and then your boxes. May not look like a lot, but trying to be trying to put this build for the solo players. I know it's a lot of stone, thirty two thousand stone, especially if you do it on vanilla modded. May not take that long for you to get that much stone. So we're gonna cut it here, and I'll show you how to start building this base. So we're back now, and now is the time to design the base. So I left this one here. I I took it all down. I'm going to start from scratch, but I left this one here because, you know, it's easier for me to do it. I don't know where I'm building. For this this server, I've got to put a cupboard down, so I'm going to put it here. So, okay. let me fill the wall. Next, this. Then, this is going to be the outline. Make sure, make sure when you do this, don't do the stone. I only left that there because you have to put these around first. And voila. Next, obviously, it will be the walls. Now, we are removing this, but we still need that wall. Just make sure we'll break the wall. And That's going to be the doorway. Because maybe you put the door, it's just about making it look like it's been raided. Okay, put a wall here and a wall here. Now we can get. Wait, no, because I forgot the other wall. Wait, Horton, which is that wall. Next, we get rid of that. Bench down and put that down there. So that's our secret entrance done there. Now we want to go to the room. Now I've been thinking, was it is it a best idea to have the walls soft side? Because it may look like you are protecting something in there. Not maybe you are. But for the sake of this, I'm just going to do it hard-sided. 
And all of that's the wrong way around, isn't it? Yes, it is. You son of a gun. Now, it depends on where you have your secret entrance. You may not need these many stairs. I do it. Just because of this. Oh. Oh. I can't remember. Second floor. Which will be to give people the idea that we have been read it. Now I'm going to hit the fly mode. Add that in. Make that sheet metal because I am going to be upgrading it with the uh, command so it's quicker for you guys to see than me just going over and over and upgrading it all. want that there. We want a yeah. Upgrade that to there, and okay. Now it's up to you. You can leave this whole thingy, but I rather give it that extra protection layer there. That's going to be stone there. I don't know why I did that. If I just upgrade it all at the same time. So then we got. This is going to be the last floor here, guys. This is going to show us, not show us, but this is going to show them that we've been raided. So this is the cupboard floor, not the cupboard floor, the loot floor. And light lag maker, great. There we go. Wow. So, now, I'm going to quick upgrade this to stone, then I'll do the floors into sheet metal, because that's what we want to happen. Making sure everything is correct here. We can leave that like that, and that looks like it's been blown up. Maybe if we can try and get rid of these two as well, just have to see the integrity. Let's see. Yeah, that looks fine. Bigger the hole makes it look like it's been um, rocketed out, hollowed out. But never do this in wood, you know, especially that. Because people are going to see for it and, you know, you don't want that to happen at all. Do you really? So, I believe that's it for that. So what I'm going to do is type up to two. And there we go, that's all stone. Now, to upgrade these to sheet metal. Why you ask? Well, it kind of gives it that purpose that there's something special upstairs. It makes it look like the raid is done for anything. You know, the ra whoever raided this, you know, they've got what they needed, even though they didn't. Now it's up to you, you can do the roof, stone, or metal frags, but sheet metal, even. But I just want to keep the consistency, you know, I'm, I'm a very OCD type of person, I want to keep the consistency going through. Now, the twig part. Maybe not that one, wrong bloody stairs. That one, wrong one again, and there we go. Now, you can put a wall frame here or here. Depends on you, to be honest. Because at the end of the day, that no, was wrong. You want to try and make whoever come in here to have a look. You want to make them believe there is nothing left anymore. Now, this hole is amazing. 
it's there. It's done. Now, half the time people are not going to realise that hole. And let's hope they don't, because that's where you're going to keep all your loot. So, let's go in here. So, that's all done. I'll upgrade this to sheet metal. You've got that the same way over there. Press to add these stairs and also your door. Now I said this before, you can add armoured or sheet metal. But I prefer to put sheet metal. But uh, sheet metal armoured. Because it's going to cost them more to blow if they do find your little secret entrance. And there we go. You've got your furnaces. Five, yeah, not too bad. You're going to put your bed here. Don't have a bed on me, but you put your bed there. And then boxes first. I'm going to upgrade this to sheet metal. Try to keep it on track. Boxes. So you can do it like this, actually. I think I'll change it a bit because I think we got more from that, didn't we? We got one box more from that. And then same here again. Be able to have one over. Voila. And there you have it. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, three, six, eight, yeah. Eight chests. You can put you can probably sneak one down here. So put that. You can sneak one down there. Now, as I said, this could be designed for the solo player or dual players. It's not gonna be big enough for a big clan and obviously people are not going to attack it because the bigger the building you know the harder to raid but that's my forte since I'm with uh, PB and we always build bigger bases than usual because we're such a big clan but you know honestly if I come past this I probably think it's been raided honestly if this was on uh, that German guy's server, then I I would think, oh, it's been raided because, you know, you're going to put this here. Put these chests, empty chests, here. And if I came up here myself and seen these chests were empty and had crap loot inside them, you know, the stuff that people don't want, bones, etc. I probably think been raided I'm not going to be bothered to look for a secret entrance and that's you know that's my view on that because that's probably what I would do there we go so if you uh, like this I hopefully I'll be seeing a couple of these around you know it's not that much as I said 6,240 wood, 32,140 stone, and 4,175 frags. Now, obviously, you, always, you got the armored door, so that's going to cost you, I believe it's five gears and fair HQ just for one armored door. But hopefully, no, and it does. Oh, God, this is going to be. Hopefully, no one's going to find this door. That kind of could take to your, all your loot. But you never know. Rust is rust, and if people do watch this video and they do do the designs, and people come across it and they've watched it, then they obviously know where that secret hole is. But I hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, ladies and gentlemen, have a good day.